like it. Uh, very big question mark. Uh, has con concussion uh, uh, symptoms, and uh, as with concussions, symptoms they're always day to day. But uh, it was enough where, and I think that really hurt us too. The second half we decided to go a little smaller, a little better ball handlers, and. Uh, he was playing pretty well, and then the last 10 minutes of that game or whatever, you know, he couldn't play, and uh, that had some impact on the game too, but uh, that looks like triple question mark at best. So, defense, so what does that mean if he can't go? I mean, more Valentine, I'm sure, but... Yeah, more Valentine. Uh, you know, Kearney was the other kid that you had an infection in his mouth, and... Uh, and uh, really could hardly practice or, or play. You know, he played six minutes and some of it was due to that. So I think he's back about 85%, now 90%. So he'll have to play more. Um, it is going to be a little concerned because Trice played almost 20 minutes and probably would have played 25 minutes uh, if it wasn't for the injury. And uh, it's a team that puts a lot of pressure on you. Um, that would have helped us, but Tom, you would have rather been working off an ugly win, but a reality check this early, is it good to get that out of the way? And it always seems to be if I looked at, at my past. And, you know, I just, this was a little more disappointing. I, 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 I did say to you, I thought they were a good team. You know, they had a lot of experience. Four guys that had a lot of experience and two guards that were great and played great. They were great, they played even better. Um, they'll win a lot of games. They're a Final Four team, but they're going to win a lot of games. Um, so the reality check is, you know, most people got to play. Teams are going to be by 20, and we did. The other reality check, though, is I think that was a game if we would have played, taken care of the ball alone, um, I think we win. So you can look at it as the good news or the bad news, but I think uh, what we're trying to look at it is there is good news that we bounce back. There is good news that... Uh, you know, we had some guys did some things that we, we liked. Uh, BJ coming back was was big. Thought Harris played better the second half after a tough first half. Um, I thought we pushed the ball decent and we scored a lot of points that way. The turnovers weren't because of the break either. That was the ironic part. They were in the half court. And we just, you know, we watched a lot of film of us just standing around doing nothing. And, uh, that is not the way we practice. So that was disappointing. But I started looking at the new positions guys played or the lack of time they had off or, you know, playing some freshmen early. And, uh, you know, their freshman, uh, I forgot the kid's name, but he was a uh, leading scorer by a long shot. He's averaging 22 a game in two exhibition games. He goes over two and has one rebound and one free throw, I think, scored one point. And uh, you know, I looked at him on film. I said, that, "That's a pro prospect right there." So Harris actually did a very good job defensively. Um, just screwed up some things offensively because he just uh, you know, that's what happens when, with the freshmen when they get that look in their eye. But for him to bounce back second half and play a lot more aggressively, pain bouncing back second half, playing better after getting a foul trouble. Um, I think there's enough to build on, and uh, I don't think this team was cocky, so it's unlike other teams where it knocks that out, they don't think it knocked us in that way, but the reality of turning the ball over and keeping layups up is, uh, is one that I think they learned a tough lesson on. Tom, you talked about the deer in the headlights look in some guys. Did you see it in some guys that you didn't expect to see it from, and is there a concern with another big game tomorrow you might see it again? No, I, I, you know, I just thought Gary early, but uh, and I did not expect it from him, and uh, I don't think you'll see that again from him. Um, you know, pain a little bit, you know, I think uh, not sure of himself as much. Uh, I thought Nick, you know, he turned it over a few times, but well, he got some big time rebounds, and uh, I think one mistake we made is we tried to, but we did not get the ball inside did not get enough opportunities.
So, you know, uh, Price had it because he got whacked, you know, and uh, so he had a lot of during the headlights. He was looking at a lot of headlights, but uh, you know, we just didn't seem as aggressive until the you know 10, 12 minute mark of the first half, and uh, you get 16 down in that period period of time. There's got to be there's got to be a serious plus to bouncing back, and and when we talk about uh, you know, we gave up some layups, and I, I agree with that. They hit some shots, too. You know, when the German kid hits the 17-footer, um, he hasn't even hit that in his dreams so far, and much less in reality. And, uh, and they hit a couple of long threes, which they're capable of. <coughs> but they, they made some some shots, too. So it was a combination of both. When you go from shooting 81 to 30% in the last 30 minutes, 